All right, so we're going to do costing again. It's, uh, in this one, we're actually going to talk about a very interesting topic that's going to throw people off a lot or has thrown people off a lot in the past. Uh, and it has to do with a sales order. Um, it actually, there was a, a comment that came on a question whether changing the sales price would change the interim cost of goods sold posting. And it doesn't because the price doesn't affect the cost. Uh, and you can put the price whatever you want, the cost is still the same. So the interim posting on the cost of goods sold is going to be the same. But there is a little caveat in that. So if we, and I'm going to show you in the system how it is, if we look at a sales order and you have sales order lines here, and here you have the item number, I'm just going to do that like this. Um, and description and then you have quantity uh, and then you got uh, I'm actually gonna put it here the unit price and I'm gonna show a column here in the video so you're gonna see in a little bit which is gonna be unit cost so you can actually view the unit unit cost on the sales line so this is a sales order you can see the unit cost right so you have the whatever um, spring coffee mug, so I'll just put SCM uh, for uh, five, and let's say the price is ten dollars. The unit cost automatically populates with the current cost of the item in the system. It's like a snapshot of the of the current cost of that item. So let's say that's at uh, six dollars. And so if you hit statistics, go into stats, you will see, and you show more on the statistics screen because it doesn't show right away, you can see that the, uh, since the quantity is five, the total sale is gonna be $50, which is what revenue, and then the cost is gonna be $30, cost, and your profit is going to be $20. So you can see that as statistics. Now, is this true? Am I really going to make $20 on this? Not necessarily. Because this cost here is a snapshot of the cost when the sales order was created. This cost does not dynamically change as you're buying more of the product and selling of the product. There might be a hundred things happening behind the sales order which are changing this cost. It's just a snapshot. And this number here the cost will not change that's why microsoft after partners like us yelled and screamed that this was very misleading to only have one cost that doesn't change microsoft added something this was uh, maybe five years ago ten years ago maybe tom knows this tom please know when that was uh cost adjusted so you're going to see that so when you actually post it's going to fix the cost for the actual cost that the item has when you post it. That exact time when it grabs it out of inventory and ships it out. And that might be at $7, went up. So the cost adjusted is gonna be 35, price is still 50, and you're only making $15. So if you're a salesperson, you put something on a sales order, not necessarily perfectly guaranteed that you're going to get this profit. But you're, once it's posted and it's out the door, you know exactly what profit that is. Now the interesting part is, if I edit this field, this field is editable. If I change it to like a thousand, this number over here shows five times thousand, so you're losing a lot of money, changes. However, the system just Change it again when you post it to the correct price, which would be seven. Overwrite it. And even if you do a ship not invoice and you try to get this thousand dollars into the cost of good interim account, the system actually fixes that as well right away. So you see a thousand posted in cost of goods sold interim and then fixed right away. So you can't cheat the system. Uh, Microsoft has made it rock solid. Now, if you get into the item cart, for this, uh, there's a unit cost field there. 
and it's not editable, <laughs> of course. Uh, and that is for maybe, let's say, $6. But you can actually drill into it. I'm going to make this arrow. This used to be like way we used to do that, but now you just click on the 6. And when you drill into that, uh, you get all of the cost entries that make that show you that this is the six dollars and these cost entries will explain to you why it's six dollars and that has to do with whether it's a FIFO, LIFO, standard or specific costing method and that's why we're gonna keep going on costing because we might want to jump into these next right so if you don't like costing you're in for plenty more enjoy Okay, let's take a look at the system again. So I'm here in sales orders. I'll open up a sales order. And I've created a sales order for the uh, Spring Coffee Mug. And I made visible the unit cost field for the line. Uh, and it automatically populated with uh, $5.27 approximately. And this unit cost is actually editable which is really strange because the system will post the exact cost or the um, accurate cost no matter what you put in here. So you could put whatever you like in here and, uh, and the system will basically just override that with the actual cost that you paid for the item. Um, but anyways, let's ignore that for a second. Um, if I go into order here and statistics and I hit show more here, I've actually done that. Um, I can see that we see the profit and that profit is calculated from the line as you can see so if I do change this let's say I put this into uh, nine dollars and I go here into order statistics it'll tell me that I'm only making ten dollars on this but it's not true though, because the true cost of this item is closer to whatever it was 530 so if I'm changing this, it really, it's not changing reality. I'm just changing the statistics screen. And that's why when we actually post the order and it updates the cost and fixes it, it will do this original cost adjusted cost. And adjusted cost is the one that gets fixed. So uh, we're going to play a little bit with that once we get into um, the costing method. So I'm going to move forward on that.